thank you for watching my video blog. I'm Melinda Elmer with Keller Williams and today I'm talking about what everybody loves most about summer and that's vacation. And most importantly, six tips on how to keep your home safe while you're on vacation. Safe from all sorts of different hazards. One of the ways that uh, you can really make sure that your home stays safe is ask a friend to help out. So maybe you have a friend or a neighbor that you trust that can come over and check in on your house on a day daily basis or even every other day. While they're there, you can have them water the plants, things like that, and check on things. Number two, the best thing you can do is don't tip people off online. Social media is so tempting to tell the world that you're going off to some great place like Hawaii or, or wherever you're going. But at the same time, if you notify it and leave your settings on public so that the whole world can know, it can allow criminals to know about your activities. So you want to make sure to uh, limit or restrict who is able to see those notices. A lot of things people do to try to prevent criminals is to leave the lights on. But people often notice when the lights are on all the time but no one is actually home. The lights never go off. If you want to do something like that, make sure to put it on a timer uh, so that it is going to go on and off or have that friend come by and turn the lights on and off periodically so that they're just not left on all the time. Another great trick is to stop your mail. You can either stop it or have that friend or house sitter come by and take the mail out of the mailbox every day. It's a big tip when the mailbox is overflowing and no one's home to pick it up that no one is around. So make sure to either stop the mail with the post office or have that friend pick it up. Another great way to protect your home is to pull the plug on a lot of your electronic devices. You know, when we're not home to watch it, uh, you can have some electrical fires, things like that, and no one's even there to notice. So you just may want to be aware of what's left plugged in before you go, or even some of the plumbing things, you may want to turn off some of the water features if you have had some issues in the past with some of those items. Or the last item that you want to make sure to do is to remove a, any spare keys that you have. So I know sometimes people leave keys under doormats or under rocks or things like that on front porches. Make sure you pull those out. That's usually the first places that people look when they realize a home that is empty. So pull those out, either put them in a lockbox or just go ahead and give it to that friend, neighbor, family member who is checking on your home while you're gone. Thanks for watching. Have a great summer and please come back and watch again in a couple of weeks. And remember, if you need to buy or sell a home, call me at 562-316-2915. And of course, I always appreciate your referrals. Thanks so much for watching.